I do not own the rights to this music. Hello, and welcome to Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron. Sunday School Lesson for Sunday, July the 14th, 2024. Our reference material for the Sunday School Summary is based upon the International Sunday School Lesson Series as published by the Sunday School Publishing Board. We are discussing Hope in the Lord as the title of the Summer 2024 Lesson Series. Hope in the Lord series discusses how hope in the Lord can be experienced and how experience is the best teacher. The Hope in the Lord lesson series is categorized into three units or groups of lessons and we are in unit two and we are discussing expressing hope. And these lessons discuss the prayers of ancient Israel as a model for offering praise and petitions to God. The title of our second lesson in the Unit 2 Summer 2024 Lesson Series is titled, God is Faithful, or God is Reliable, Steadfast, and Unwavering in His Love for Us. The key verse comes from a Psalms, chapter 71, verse 14, which reads, As for me, I will always have hope. I will praise you more and more. The title, uh, God is Faithful, comes from the book of Psalms. Now, the book of Psalms is a collection of 150 ancient songs, and many of these psalms or songs was written by King David himself. The psalms address a multitude of different subjects to address the range of human emotions, spiritual needs, and conditions of life. There are glad songs which praise God and sad songs or sad prayers to God, psalms of faith in times of trouble. The psalm today is Psalm 71, a psalm of reflections and faith in God in old age, which brings us to today's lesson. There are two summary lesson points for today, a resolve to praise, and that's from Psalm 71, verses 12 through 17. A resolve to leave a legacy, and that's from Psalm 71, 18 through 21. Now, the passages for the lesson today revolve around the key words of faith, wisdom, hope, and resolve. And then we know that faith is a complete trust, assurance, belief, or confidence in God. The writer of Psalms is confident by God's faithfulness as he reflects over his life and his future in today's lesson. Wisdom is the ability to apply experience, knowledge, and understanding to produce good judgment. It is wisdom of the psalmist to reflect on God's faithfulness over his life in today's lesson. Hope is a positive confidence or assurance in the possibility that what one desires or longs for will happen. It is the hope in God of the writer of Psalm 71 that God will protect him from his enemies in today's lesson. Resolve is to decide firmly on a course of action or to reach agreement. It is the determination to praise God and to leave a legacy of praise in Psalm 71 in today's lesson. A resolve to praise is a first summary point from Psalm 71, verses 12 through 17. 
And in these passages, the writer expresses his determination to praise God as the source of his hope based on the great things God has done and on God's righteousness. He goes on to say that God do not stay far away from me. He says, my God, come quickly to help me. He says, to make my enemies completely ashamed. He says, they speak against me and they want to hurt me. So let them fall with great shame. But as for me, I will always wait for you to help me. He says, I will continue to praise you more and more. And I will tell people, always do what is right. I will always speak about your power to save people, but you have done more than I will ever know. He goes on to reiterate that I will tell the great things that you have done. He says, Almighty Lord, I will tell that you're righteous. You are only are you that is righteous. And he goes on to say that God has taught him many things since he was young. And he says, I still tell people about the great things that you have done. So we are to continually praise God and to tell others about the great things that God has done for us and through us. Our second summary point is a resolve to leave a legacy. And a legacy is something of value that you leave behind. And in this case, it is the value and the wisdom to follow God. And in these passages, the writer expresses his determination to testify to the next generation about God's faithfulness and how they could apply it to their life. He goes on to say, and even when I'm old and my hair is gray, do not turn away from me. I need to tell people still to be born about your great strength and goes on, my descendants need to know about your power. And our young people need to know how we got over and how God brought us over through our mountains and through our valleys. He says, your justice reaches above the sky. You have done such great things, God. There's nobody like you. So he reiterates the, he reiterates the goodness and greatness of God. And he says that even though you have caused me to have many troubles, but you will make my life strong again and you will lift me back up from this deep hole under the earth. So he's saying that no matter what we are going through, God will bring us through and bring us back. And he says, lastly, you will make me great again so that people respect me. You will turn back to me so that I feel strong. So that is the legacy that he wants to tell future generations as to the goodness of God, the righteousness of God, and the great things that God has done to bring them through this life. This is Brother Ron with the Sunday School Summary for Sunday, July the 14th, 2024. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed week. And we hope to see you next Sunday for another edition of Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron.